Hello, uh, welcome to what amounts to a pilot because I have in my head an idea for a series that won't really happen on this channel till later this year but I also have in my possession bits and pieces that allow me to do a sort of pilot to give you even just the slightest idea of what this series will be so um, well, we'll be right back after this word the Swinger, the incredible new low-priced Polaroid land camera for black and white pictures in 10 seconds. Meet the Swinger, the incredible new Polaroid land camera for 1995. It talks to you. Swing it up and take a look. Then turn the knob until it says yes, right in the viewfinder. Okay, you've got the right setting. Ten seconds later, you zip off a perfect black and white picture. The swinger freezes action. It's always in focus. And it gives you beautiful close-ups. Incredible, especially at 1995. Hey, meet the swinger. Swing it up. It says yes. Take the shot, count it down, zip it off. Hey, meet the swinger, override swinger, meet the swinger, override swinger. So, Polaroid swinger, you may say. Now, the thing about the Polaroid swinger is I thought I had one. And then I went and looked at it and I went, well, I've got this, which is the Model 3000, which is from the swinger family because it's got all of this. But it's not a swinger, because swingers, as you've seen, albeit from the black and white advert, are white. And I'll show you another clip in a minute, even from a piece of colour television that proves even more that they're white and of a different design to this. But, um, well, I guess we'll finish with that, because it's quite fun. Um, so, yeah, this is a swinger, or a 3000. Certainly the original swinger came out in 1965. Uh, it's an instant camera from Polaroid. Uh, as it said in the advert, assuming that all of the advert aired, and you can't really show this on camera, but at the bottom of the viewfinder, there's this little grid of red and black, like a checkerboard. And as you turn this knob, it's meant to adjust the innards, and the word yes appear. Now, sadly, this camera, which did work back in the early 1980s, has kind of seen better days, and decayed slowly in storage and bits of it for example there's meant to be a sort of cover over the viewfinder there have seen better days and so you're meant to see that word yes what you do have on this one is that little distance meter which from what i gather you may not have had on earlier models you've also got a little flash bulb holder there and on the back some quite detailed and useful instructions and I can show you I haven't got any film for this anymore the, the film for this is an absolute endangered species it would be decaying in warehouses and whatnot now but so uh, there's more instructions on the inside I mean check out the amount of information people were given with a gadget back in the 60s you can buy something now and it has nothing I bought a printer in the past couple of weeks it had next to no manual at all and all the setup was done with an app on a phone so if you didn't even own a smartphone I don't think you could set that printer up but this is just a wealth of information for the beginner on the inside and this might be why that yes thing is not working there is room for a couple of AA batteries and that sort of opens down and you'd stick your double A batteries in there and it's a very basic mechanism your film which I forget the type number for clonks in there and this is of course the benefit of plastic it's nigh on indestructible and everything just clonks together with as little metal metallic components as possible and it still makes a very pleasing sound so yeah, that is my swinger, or not swinger, swinger family camera. 
I've got its colour, Big Brother, as well, and I'll attempt to do a video about that, but I haven't got any examples taken with that. This, I've got one that I was still able to find. This was taken in about 1982, I guess, maybe? Possibly a little later than that. That's my old primary school that still stands to this day in that direction from where I'm sitting. And I did do a whole, at least one whole film. It says on the back type 107C, so there you are, ironically 107C, even though it's a black and white film. So yeah, it's practically going sepia that now. But the quality, considering that lens is made of plastic, and this thing is only really designed to take black and white photos, that thing is quite, that's quite an impressive picture. Uh, so I'll end with a bit of Morecambe and Wise, uh, having fun, and taking a considerably less impressive picture. Welcome to the show. We have some very interesting guest stars for you tonight. We've got Ronnie Cowell and we've got <laughs> Kenny Quaid. What is hairs it? on your nose? Do you know that? <laughs> What's this? A new gimmick or something? It's not. No, it's not a new gimmick You're at all. That's it again, aren't you? It's a living. It's toy time, folks. Toy time, folks. I don't know. <laughs> what is it? It's obvious what it is. What? Instant camera. <laughs> Instant camera. I've just said that. Instant camera. <laughs> if you mean like uh, instant potatoes and instant coffee? Pardon? <laughs> well, you get some camera powder and you put it in a cup and you pour boiling water on it and you get a real camera, instant camera. Is that what you mean? How they do that? <laughs> That's clever. Doesn't it come out, though, the, sh the same shape as the cup? I don't know. Or whatever receptacle you happen to put it into. <laughs> <laughs> we better leave that one alone, eh? Yes. <laughs> yeah. Well, what is it? I have told you. Instant camera. Well, well um, how do you work it, you suppose? No, I wasn't going to say it. Oh. <laughs> well, if you don't, it'll throw me. I, I, <laughs> what? I was going to say, yes? I didn't know you were interested in it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, I've always been interested in it. Yeah. <laughs> then I realised I was getting too old for it, so I took this up. Oh, I see. <laughs> and now I say, yeah? how does it work? Well, it was the other one that threw me. <laughs> Let's be honest, you know. How's it work? It's got all the directions written down there. Well, let's hear. In glorious black and white. He says, they like pictures. Red. Squeeze red knob. Turn to best. Yes. Release knob. Yes goes out. Now you can't get further. Than that. <laughs> Crystal clear. It is. Any more? It says, to shoot, press white button on knob. Smile and say, hello there, I'm Bob Monkhouse. No, it doesn't say that. No, <laughs> no, it doesn't. I must be honest. Right, well, take my picture. Then. I will. I will. Now, don't forget, I want you to smile. Smile, yeah. And relax, you know what I mean? I'm relaxed. Yeah. It's on straight, is it? You're yes. all right. <laughs> no, well, you don't want to spoil the picture, you know what I mean? A nice, easy, relaxed smile. F8. <laughs> Pardon? F8. You haven't, have you? <laughs> oh. Well, what exposure? It's just a quick, quick flash now and again. You'll be all right. <laughs> you hey, ready? Yeah. Smile. And say Bob Monkhouse. Are you smiling? Yeah, I'm smiling. Oh, no, one of your best ones. Ah. <laughs> oh, Bob Monkhouse. <laughs> this should be a good picture, eh? We'll never get it out, it'll be a gem, this. Sure. <laughs> Lovely. Colored? You're not, are you? <laughs> I never realized that. What? All these years we've worked together. Are you that color all over? No. Does it come off? No, it doesn't come off. It's the picture color. Ah, well, now, that depends on who you're taking. I mean, if you took a picture of David Frost... Yes? It wouldn't be, because he isn't, is he? No. Well, there you are. That's another one to me. Well, come on, let's see the picture, for goodness sake. All right, you mustn't get excited. You've got to count up to ten. One, two, three. Count up to ten? You've Five. got about ten minutes. I mean, it's four out, then, four. It's over two minutes, for goodness sake. Let's see the picture. All right, then. Look at that. A gem. A gem. <laughs> A gem. It's all black. It's overexposed. Oh, it's...